In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good afternoon. Afternoon. As we continue in this Easter season, and also in the beautiful month of May that we dedicate to, as we, in a very formal way, dedicated to, to yesterday in our May crowning to our Blessed Mother, we call upon always Mary's intercession to help us to become or to continue to be better people, better Christians in our day-to-day -day striving to follow as best we can in the ways of the Lord. And for any time when we might have failed out of human weakness in doing so, we ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal Mysteries on earth, bring us to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages unending, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and the brothers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles too had accepted the word of God. So when Peter went to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, You entered the house of the uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained it to them step by step, saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa. When in a trance I had a vision, something resembling a large sheet coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, and it came to me. Looking intently into it, I observed and saw the four-legged animals in the, of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. I also heard a voice say to me, Get up here, slaughter, and eat. But I said, Certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time, a voice from heaven answered, What God has made clean, you are not to call profane. This happened three times, and then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then, three men appeared at the house where we were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angel standing in his house, saying, Send someone to Joppa and summon Simon, who is called Peter, who will speak words to you by which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, as at upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the, with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the, the same gift he gave to us when he came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles, too. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The response is, a thirst is my soul for the living God. A thirst, a thirst is, is my soul for, for the living, living God. God. As the hen longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst, a thirst is, is my soul, soul for the living God. God. 
When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling. A dwelling place, I'm sorry. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Then I will go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then I will give you thanks upon the heart. O God, my God, a thirst is my soul for the living God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and I know mine and mine know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We take today our brief reflection from the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, where We heard of the beginnings and this, what's sometimes referred to as the argument that will develop between St. Peter and St. Paul, our own two patrons, over these next days and throughout the next weeks of Scripture. The argument of circumcision uh, begins here with this reading. However, we see how in St. Peter's case, as is presented in the Acts of the Apostles passage that we just heard read by Danny, that it was through a message from God that Peter was told to go enter the house of the uncircumcised people and to go and to bring them into the fold. Why? Because there's something very important, which is in the very first sentence of that reading. Because those people, the Gentiles as referred to, those people had accepted the word of God. Even though they were not among the original followings of Jesus, those Jews who followed Jesus, these two who were considered foreigners, also came to accept God's word, to accept Jesus. And so, the message sent to St. Peter is, include them, go to them, help to instruct them further. And as the final sentence of that reading points out very clearly, accompany them without discriminating. Because all those who seek to be the people of God in following in their day-to-day lives. All those are welcome. But there is the condition that we must accept God, accept God's word, and believe in him. And as long as we have those ingredients, anyone who may not seem to be of our following originally, as long as they do seek to follow, and come to the Lord in sincerity of heart and seek to believe and want to learn more and understand, 
No one is to be discriminated against. No one is to be left out. Everyone is welcome in the family of God because everyone was created by God. Everyone is welcome to follow, to believe, and to continue to love God. God bless you. The intention of Mass for today will be through the intercession of the Blessed Mother for all of you who are joining us at home and for the intentions of your own hearts. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Receive, O Lord, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts. hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your, your resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Cardinal Archbishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Peter and Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. of you who are joining us from home or any others who are not receiving communion physically, we now pray for and with you the spiritual communion prayer. 
as you develop in your heart the ardent desire to receive the Blessed Sacrament. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. continue here in their beautiful works of religious art that they had sent in over these past weeks. So again, um, uh, we, we miss you all, uh, children. We miss all of you at home. And we continue as we are now into this month of May to remember the gift of the Blessed Mother given to us by the Lord himself. And so we invoke her intercession then as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us abide in peace. Thanks be to God.